Guggen Bates. Now, you clicked on this video so you know what this is about, but today I'm going to be discussing and reviewing Guggen Bates, specifically their most popular bait in the Bandito Bug. Now, I'm not a Guggen fanboy or somebody who just hops on the YouTube train no matter what, but let's get into the video. So, when you look at the back here, it just has a bunch of little details to get you hooked and tell you how great it is. Now, they do market their product very well while putting prominent YouTubers on the Guggen Squad, as they call it. So, if I open this up, I'm going to look at this bait. I have seen it and used it many times before, and I've had mediocre luck with it, but, um... It does come in plant packaging, which I like, so it doesn't ruin the scent just instantly. But if I take one of them out... Okay, they're very oily, that's for sure. So a very oily, scented body. They have like a black and blue flake on the front with a uh, kind of a natural blue colored bottom. And on the back, it's more of a metallic green pumpkin kind of a color. Come with these little pull tabs, and uh, I personally would uh, pull them off just to get all the action that you can get. Now, I would consider this a creature bait, kind of a, a mixed craw. It could be considered a craw, in my opinion. I think a fish would look at this and say it could be a craw. But um, smells actually very good, to be honest. For like a fish smell, it is one of the better smelling scents I have smelled. It's full of salt and extremely soft plastic with all the ribs down the side. Uh, they have these little cups on the end of it right here to kind of make it make more disturbance in the water as it's flapping along. Now, in my past experience with them, I have caught two to three fish on it. One time it was a jig trailer, another time it was Texas rigged. And the other time it was a buzz bait trailer. So, two of the times it was trailers, so it's a good trailer bait. But I've used it like 10 to 12 times and only caught three fish on it. So I don't know if that's eight bucks. What is that? Yeah, eight bucks for seven bandito bugs, individual ones. And they're not super durable, to be honest. They're they're just mainly, they're super soft plastic, which I guess is what you want, but it's not very durable, so it won't last you a whole lot of fish. So, now to the real question, is Guggen Bates worth the money? Now, for however much this was, about $8, I would say no. Now, are you getting some of the highest quality soft plastics there is on the market? Yeah, I would say that this is probably the best soft plastic brand on the market. Now the money, eight bucks, yeah, it's a lot of money. But if I were to market this more reasonable, I'd probably put it around five dollars, six dollars, which is still considerably more than your average three dollar, four dollar soft plastic where where it be Power Bait or Yum or any other company like that. So yes, I would actually say that Guggen Bates is worth the money, and I would recommend these baits. To anyone. Now, I'm just looking at the Bandito Bug. They also have the Kraken Craw, the Mondo Worm, the Slim Shake Worm, the Trench Hog, so many more. And I haven't even begun to talk about their hard baits. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you stayed through the whole video, you're a legend. Please subscribe if you like the content and you want more fishing videos. And like, the, like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't like it. Uh, yeah, I am going to be doing a Guggen Slam soon. Almost all of their soft plastics and all of their hard baits try to catch a fish on every single one. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That's it.